We are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast, bringing you our third segment, which is going to be talking about the AL Power Rankings, my first one of the year. So yeah, let's get straight into that. So you know the deal already with the NL1s being talked about. It's going to go from 15 to 1. So let's get straight into it. So number 15, no surprise, it is the Oakland A's. I don't know what else to say here. I mean, they suck. They're really bad. They're so bad. I just they're the A's, man. I mean, I had a whole segment yesterday on how incompetent they are. I short on it as well. So, yeah, not a fan of the A's. They're really, really bad. They don't have much going for them right now, and I don't think it's. I think it's going to stay that way for a little while. So, yeah, definitely not a fan of this A's team, and not a fan of what's going on with them right now. So, did have them at number fifteen, and I'm going to stay there. And I think I feel pretty good about that pick. I'm not, again, very high in them. So, yeah. Number 14, I have the Chicago White Sox. No surprise again here. I think we all knew that the A's and the White Sox were both going to be the two worst teams, probably in the league and definitely in the AL. So, no surprises here for 15 and 14. The White Sox, unlike the A's, though, do have some things going for them. I mean, they have some nice young players. They have at least they at least have a plan of what to do. They're not moving. They're not moving their team. They're not alienating, alienating their fan base. So I think if you're a White Sox fan, you feel much better than an A's fan right now. So the the White Sox are clearly in a rebuild. They definitely have a vision, so I wouldn't be too worried. Shouldn't last for any – shouldn't last too long. And, yeah, but clearly right now they are the 14th best team in baseball in the AL, I should say. Now here's where it gets fun. At number 13, I have the Houston Astros. Now, yes, I have the Astros at 13. Is that going to stay that way? No, it is not going to stay that way. The Astros are a very good team, and nothing about this week has changed my mind about that. But they have not looked good. They lost at home to the Yankees, getting swept, which was losing in pretty horrible ways in all the games. They they blew a game against the Blue Jays. So they've just not been good to start the year, frankly, frankly put, and... I'm not worried about them. Yes, I'm not. But they have not looked good, and I couldn't put them anywhere other than 13 right now. I thought it would have been disrespectful to the other teams who have been really good. So, yeah, not not a fan of what the Astros have done so far. Yes, they had a new hitter. Yes, they yes they won eight to nothing. But the losses have been bad, and there are some question marks right now about the bullpen. None too mu- not a uh, too much bu- uh, question marks where I'm gonna just give up on them. Like I said, I still believe in them, but. You know, it's uh, it's not been good if you're a if you're an Astros fan right now. So, yeah, definitely not a fan of what's going on with them, and they definitely need to step it up. Not too worried, but kind of got to get into gear soon. Number twelve, I have their division mate, the Seattle Mariners, who are also two and five. Now, you may be asking, okay, well, we know the Astros are obviously better than the Mariners, so why are they above? Why are they not above the Mariners? Well, the Mariners have lost at least with some pride. I mean, they played Boston, they fought there, they did lose, but they fought, and they beat Cleveland, who's been off to a really strong start. The last game was bad, but Mariners have been showing me something, and I also wanted to show them a little bit of respect by not putting them above, by putting them above the Astros, who have just looked really bad so far. So I wouldn't be mad if you put the, excuse me, if you put the Astros above the Mariners, but I I do think right now I want to put some put some respect to the Mariners and I think that the Astros have not done anything to show that they are higher than what I have them right now so yeah not a fan of what the Astros are doing right now and not a fan of what's going on with this team so definitely definitely that's why I have Astros at 13 and Mariners at 12 but Mariners have a lot of good things going for them so yeah number 11 I have the Kansas City Royals now the Royals are three and four I expect I, which is a pretty even record for them right now, kind of where I expect them to be. They've had a lot of nice pieces showing off right now, guys like Nelson Velasquez, Cole Reagans, Michael Garcia, MJ Melendez. They split a series against the Orioles, which is very hard to do. So I, I thought about putting them higher, but I just couldn't because there's been a lot of good teams in the AL right now. So yeah, um, the Royals have a lot going for them, but right now I do have them at 11. I still think they need some more overall depth with this team. I think they have a lot of good pieces, guys like Lugo, Waka, Singer, Reagans, you know, the young players you have as well. But the players where you don't have a lot of talent, you really struggle. I mean, 
it's it's bad there. I mean, you have Adam Fraser starting, so you know, not not good, as I'll say. So yeah, um, I still think there's a lot going for the Royals. I still think they're a really good team, but as of right now, I just I had to put them at eleven. Not really an indictment against them. Just all the other teams in the AL have been really good so far to start the season. So. Yeah, wanted to uh, wanted to get the Royals a little shout out, but I couldn't put them in the top ten. Number ten, I have the Toronto Blue Jays, who, if I made this a few hours after, they might they might have rised, they might have rose because they just beat the Yankees. But which we'll be talking about in our fourth segment, so I'm not going to go into that too much. But um, yeah, so uh, they are ten, but they've shown a lot here. They did have a nice game against the Astros, which was really good. They had a really nice comeback with David Schneider hitting that home run on the top of the night to win 2-1. to one. So I think they've shown a lot to be happy about if you are a Blue Jays fan. Beating the Yankees is right now is one of them. Splitting series against the, the Rays in Tampa is also nice. So I think they have a lot of good talent, but they're 3-4, and four and they don't have a superstar roster really. So I couldn't put them higher than this, but I still think they're a really good team. And I still am looking forward to watching them as the season does go on. They're 4-4 four four now, so again, maybe I would have put them higher if I made this list after this game, but the game didn't end until now, so what can I do about it? And number, at number 9, I have the Minnesota Twins. Now, the Twins have been very impressive so far. I think that the hitting core has been doing well. I think the pitching's been performing nice, so I did want to have them relatively high at number 9. Now, I will say they're third in their own division, which is not something I expected to say, but I did have them at number nine. They did beat the Royals, who are number eleven. So that's why I had these two teams where they had, where I had them. So, yeah, I still think the, the Twins are the best team in that American League Central pretty easily. So I'm not too worried about them. But as of right now, they are the third best team, just after the first week, which is not something to worry about too much. I want to make that very clear with all these. You know, it's not something to panic about. But I did want to talk about it as it was interesting. So, yeah, had them at number nine here. Number eight, I had the Tampa Bay Rays, who are three and four. Now the Rays have had some nice, nice. Uh, what, what's the word? Sorry about the weird, awkward pause there, but some nice, some nice things going for this team right now. I think that the pitching's been decent. I think the hitting core has been performing. So I, d- I did want to put them at number eight here. I thought they were better than the Blue Jays right now. I still think they have a lot going for them with the sheer amount of talent on this team. Guys who have been so good over the past few years, like Brandon Lau, Isaac Paredes, Randy Arozarena, Zach Eflin's been a dog. So, yeah, I mean, with all the problems the Rays have had, I still wanted to put them at eight, and I still think that's a fair spot for them. So, yeah, I do have the Rays at number eight here. At number seven, I have the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Now, kind of surprising, I'd say, but I think they've been performing really, really well. They swept the Marlins without a doubt. I mean, they just kind of demolished them. They won one against the Orioles, which is better than I thought they'd do. So, I mean, the way they played against the Orioles, the way they ha- they handled that Marlins team, even though the Marlins have been bad, I think the Angels have a worse roster. So, Mike Trout has been very good as well. I mean, if Trout continue playing like this, it'll be a big boost to this Angels team, of course. So. I, still, I think there's a lot of positives going on with the Angels right now, a lot that I don't think a lot of people were expecting to happen. So, yeah, definitely definitely some nice things going on there. And uh, if I'm an Angels fan, I'd be happy about where the team is sitting right now. So, yeah. At number six, I do have the Baltimore Orioles at 4-2. and two. Now, if I had the Orioles above the Angels, even though the same record, because they beat them only by only 2-1, to one, but still beat them. So, you know, I wanted to wanted to make that clear. So, I still think the Orioles are the best team in the AL. I still think they have the best roster, the most amount of talent. They are going to finish top of the AL, at least in my opinion. But um, I still, I think it's been a little, a tiny bit worrisome right now. I mean, losing a game to the Angels is not something you want. Yes, they won the series, but again, losing any game to the Angels is not something you want. No disrespect to the Angels, as they're not that good. So they have a big test coming up with playing the Pirates, who are one of the better teams in the league right now. I had them high in my NL power ranking, so we'll see what happens there. But they played well against the Angels. They beat the Royals, so I, they've been they've been okay. They've been good to start the season, just not extraordinary, and that is why I do end up having them at number six. At number six, so really couldn't put them higher than that. So yeah, um, 
nothing else to really say here about the Royals, about the Orioles, sorry, and what's going on with them. So it's a good team right now, good start to the season, but nothing, uh, nothing too extraordinary, which I was kind of expecting. Moving on to the top five here, I have the Guardians, who have been very, very impressive. Yes, they they handled the A's, which doesn't mean much, but after that, I mean, they beat Seattle in a really convincing way, which was nice. They beat Minnesota in the first game of that series yesterday, which was great. So, yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, the Guardians have looked really, really nice. The pitching's been great. The young hitting core has been really performing well. Zeven Vote has looked like a true MLB manager. So a lot's going on. A lot of good is going on for the Guardians right now. And if they can keep this up, I think they'll be a team to watch going into the going into the playoffs in the se- and going to the playoff hunt for the season. So yeah, pleasantly surprised with, the, with, the, with what the Guardians are doing right now. And I wanted to reflect it with their number five position. Another team I'm pleasantly surprised by right now is the Boston Red Sox. Now the thing with the Red Sox is that. They have played bad teams. They played the A's to start the season, who, of course, they beat. So I don't want to give them too much credit here saying, oh, they're amazing. But at the same time, they have been really, really good. I mean, the pitching's been really nice. They're number one in LB ERA leaders by a good amount. I mean, the net close team is over 40 points below. So over 40 points higher, I should say. So they've been really, really nice and... I think that they have a lot going for them right now with this pitching staff with it being that being that low. Yes, they played the A's, but you can again you can only beat the opponents you've played. So I wanted to show some respect for the Red Sox here and show some respects for what they are doing. So yeah, it's happy about this and happy that they are performing really well. At number three, I I have the Texas Rangers. So the Rangers are a team I was not the highest on. I did have them making the playoffs, but that was just because of the young talent coming up. Their pitching, I thought, was going to be really bad. I still think that, but it has been performing pleasantly well so far. I mean, you beat the Cubs in a three-game series, 2-1, to one, which I thought was a really nice win coming off of all the momentum off the offseason, winning the World Series. I thought it was a really nice job to beat this young Cubs team that is good. You split, again. you beat the Rays, which is also nice, so they've had some nice wins so far. Five, uh four and two so yeah really happy for them and really excited for what they've been doing so yeah definitely happy with with how they've been playing and i think their pitching has been a little surprising i don't know if it'll stay there but they've still been really good and yeah um, happy for them number two i have the detroit tigers yes a surprise but they're performing really really well i mean so far they're five and one which nobody expected. They just they were handed their first loss to the Mets, but their pitching was still really great, only giving up two runs that entire game. So I think the pitching has been clicking. I think the offense has been clutch when it needed to be. The bullpen's been really strong with the new additions. A.J. Hinch, one of the best managers in baseball, so that's also been helping. So, yeah, I think the Tigers have been really impressive so far. I still don't think they're the best team in the AL Central, but I think that they have a lot going for them right now. I think they have a really good team, a really good roster, and they're – they're really good right now, so yeah, um, I'd be happy right now if I was a Tigers fan. And number one, of course, is going to be the New York Yankees, who before I made this, before when I made this list for six and one, now are four and two after being handed a loss to the Toronto Blue Jays. A little anticlimactic, but what are you gonna do, huh? So I think the Yankees have been super, super impressive at the start of the season, handling the Astros with care. I mean, really just dismantling them. So. Yeah, I'd be very excited if I was a Yankees fan right now. Soto's been amazing. Judge's been amazing. Even without Cole, they've still maintained this 6-2 and two record. So, yeah, definitely been really excited if I was a Yankees fan right now. I think clearly at the end of the first week that the best team in the AL, maybe even the best team in the league, I would still give it to the Dodgers, but I think they'd definitely be top three. So, yeah, very exciting if you're a Yankees fan. And Soto has been everything as advertised. So, yeah, definitely Definitely a good addition so far, I'd say. I don't know how it would have been a bad one, but it's been better than they could have imagined so far. For the last segment, I am going to be talking about some news around the league, which so, which I always do usually. So we'll be talking about some general news stories around the league, some smaller ones, and then recapping the games going on right now as well. Not really recapping because they haven't finished, but except for one, which I talked about, the Blue Jays and the Yankees. We'll be talking about them. So, yeah, we'll be going to that, and we'll see you after the break. So uh, thanks, and bye.